Hey guys, uh, on the previous video we learned how to create a RESTful web service in Java which um, shows uh, data in XML format from a MySQL database. So what we're going to do now is that we're going to um, consume this web service from PHP to, in order to display the, not, the data in a nice, in a nice uh, way. So for example as a, as a table. I just found <laughs> this uh, answer in Stack Overflow. So we're going to be using this script as a guide. So I don't have to be I don't have to I, I don't have to write the whole thing again. Um, so this is very sim very similar to to the one we are using. Uh, you create a new simple XML element. So first of all let's delete this um, URL because it's not the one we need. Uh, we're going to be using the URL from our previous project. So this is it. And we're going to leave it like that for now. So let's comment this out because we, we don't want it yet. And let's do a bar dump to see what it shows. And let's format it as well. So echo three. And let's see how it looks. Okay, so let's zoom in. I have a list of elements here. So each element, I mean, a list of employees. So each employee has a company and it has its own data as well. So this is the same as the, the one we, we got, we, we made in the, in the previous video, like the XML file. But now it is uh, presented as, a, as an object. Okay, so we know it, it is working, so let's move on to the next step. Okay, let's um, let's comment this out because we we don't need it again, and let's build our table with the data we we want. So we want to we want company company name employee name and the email address. <clears throat> now for this for each loop, um, seen in our collection of elements, we have employee so let's go to XML and for each XML we, we want to go into the employee and we're gonna call this emp. now for we want to access the company name so in order to access the company name first we have to go inside company ID and then get the name how do we do that? So we do it same, I mean, this way. Amp, we go to into company ID, and then we access the name of the company. Now for the next one, we want full name. So we do it same way amp full name and for the next one it is email so again I'm going to amp email and we we're not gonna be needing these two rows so we delete them so save and let's test it. 
So here it is. You can see all the data is displayed as a table now. So I have all the employee, uh, all the companies, which which all the employees for each company. So let's um, add some just for to make it look nicer. So here it is. As you can see, it's very simple, and there's a there's a lot of things you can do with this. So I hope it I hope it has been useful for you. And if you have any questions, just write it down in the comments, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And that's it. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.